hello everyone in this video we will learn the closure concept in scala programming language so closure is actually a function whose return value depends on some variable which are declared outside the function so for this purpose we are going to use a anonymous function so if you remember if we need to write an anonymous function we used to write like this one so here we specify the parameter which that anonymous function is going to use and then in this side we actually specify the body so if this function return any value we will write here let's say so this actually works as a anonymous function now what we will do we will assign this anonymous function value to a variable so as we know uh, if we declaring a variable with where value can be changed but if we make it well in that case once this initialized uh, it cannot be changed so what we are going to do is that here we will declare a variable f integer data type and the value we are assigning it 120 and in this function in this anonymous function so this function is actually taking one parameter and what we are doing we are returning a value x multiply f so in this anonymous function we are using a variable f and this variable is actually declared outside the anonymous function scope so this is the anonymous function and there is the variable so if we want to execute this function what we need to do we need to use this well as a function and you can call this function you have to pass one so first we will compile our program and then we will run it so if you can see it has printed 1200 so in short what is closure closure is a function anonymous function so uh, and in this function we actually makes use of a variable which are declared outside of that anonymous function because this function is having only a single parameter but we are also using a parameter from outside the anonymous function so this actually known as closures thank you very much for watching